Hi leaders, welcome to week five with Mrs. Brown. The topic for this week is what I look for in a leader. Let's take a look at a couple of quotes. The first one, in Iroquois society, leaders are encouraged to remember seven generations in the past and consider seven generations in the future when making deci decisions Excuse me, that affect the people. I think that is so very true. If we don't learn from our past, history can repeat itself. And if we don't consider what is gonna be the effect to future generations, then we're certainly not helping out the world as a whole. And this is by Wilma P. Mankiller. She's a former principal chief of the Cherokee Nation of Oklahoma. That's a very interesting name, but she has done some amazing things. Next is one of my favorite American poet and essayist, Ralph Waldo Emerson. He states, treat a man as he is, and he will remain as he is. Treat a man as he could be, and he will become what he should be. For this week and today, you are going to explore what you personally need and expect of a leader, as well as what a group may need and expect of a leader. In the process, you'll also discover what it takes to balance individual and group priorities. So as you can see on your screen, taking the lead can be a tough balancing act. What's important to you as a leader may differ from what's important to someone else. Getting everyone in a group to agree on priorities often can be even tougher. What people expect from or look for in a leader, either individually or as in a group, has a huge impact on what they're willing to do. As you develop your leadership qualities, keep this in mind, everyone's expectations to help make things happen. All right, so this brings me to your activity for this week. I have four um, think and write about it questions that you will need to answer. In addition, I have um, the effective leader ranking scale and this both of these are going to be within Blackboard. You'll have a worksheet for this one to do to fill in. For each statement you are going to place a number next to it. One meaning most important to you, five meaning less than least in, important, excuse me. You can add other leadership behaviors to the bottom of the list if you find something to be important or ne a necessary behavior that might be missing. So go ahead and take care of that for me for this week. Also please check your other tasks for this week and if you have any questions just let me know. Thanks.